Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, and I'm continuing on with our Necron faction multiplayer tips and kind of going through each unit, showing what the empowered abilities do, and giving some general recommendations for these units. Uh, next one we're going to talk about here are the Lich Guard. Uh, before I start talking about them, though, if you're liking these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe. Encourage me to post more content for you. And this is the Lich Guard. So they cost 125 points. Uh, I personally don't use these guys a lot, uh, but I think they they're slowly growing on me. Uh, but each model here has 80 health, so these guys can de are definitely your tanks, if you couldn't gather that by looking at their shields. They have uh, one action point, three movement, six armor, and no evasion. They are considered elite units, and they have two different kind of kits uh, to, if you're going to use them. The first one is their default guardian phase, I guess is what I just tend to think of it as. And what this is, is they get the hyper phase sword. Uh, which has one attack. It does 22 to 30 damage, armor piercing of 6 with uh, accuracy of 90. And then the shield they get is it's kind of, it's similar to the uh, Terminator units where they have their storm hammer, hammers and uh, the shields. Uh, the Necron version is the dispersion shield though, so it, it makes it so they suffer 10% less damage and it also brings their armor. So now up one, so now they're up to seven. So this would be kind of your standard tank kit. And then the second way to use them would be more as a damage dealers. Um, so for 15 additional points, they will be equipped with the war size. And these have one attack. They do 30 to 40 damage. They have an armor piercing of eight and uh, melee accuracy of 90. So it definitely increases their damage substantially, allows them to really either assassinate other HQ units or even go after vehicles very effectively. Um, but for the most part, I prefer them to be my tanks. So I use them more as a tank than I do a DPS unit. Uh, they do have two abilities. Again, every unit just about for the Necrons, other than the HQ, has the reanimation protocol. And what that is is uh, for each squad, uh, up to two models can resurrect at a 40% chance with 50% of their health once per turn. And then these guys also have an ability called the Guardian Protocols. And what this is, is a, it's just like the Defend Protocol with the uh, Adeptus Sororitas, if you're familiar with those. Uh, once you activate this, it gives the unit plus 10% HP. And then it also allows them to automatically switch places with any HQ unit that's close to where they are. So um, if they're attacked by ranged weapons, and the one thing that's nice about these guys is it goes within three tiles. So it doesn't have to be a direct contact like it is with the other units. And then uh, it'll just take all the unit, all the uh, damage from them. So it definitely works out very well and that's the other reason why I typically like to have them with the shield is if they're going to be tanking all the shots I'd like them to get 10% less damage dealt to them uh, but definitely an interesting unit they can take several hits and then with their reanimation protocol you know these guys can definitely be a pain to cut through if your opponent has low armor piercing damage but we'll do a match here and kind of show how they work and I think we're back up to the Tyranids again Alright, we'll just kind of bring everybody together here so everybody can get the movement bonuses. Oops, what am I doing here? Dang it, there we go. Alright, let's move you here. You guys can come up this way. You can come there. Shit. All right, there we go. I was quickly able to do it before they lost their movement there. Again, we'll just do the momentum so we can empower abilities here. Ooh. 
All right, well, I guess let's just start it off with a nice nuke. And that effectively almost killed everybody. Um, of course, you're the one that's not. I wonder. Would you guys be able to kill two of these guys? Yes. Alright, good. Alright, let's charge with these guys into here. And you guys can charge over here. Almost dropped them. Hmm. Interesting that he's got so many guys down there. So crazy. Alright, let's move you up, I guess. Summon some more boys here. Uh, get up. I failed to resurrect, unfortunately. Oh, I should have known that was going to happen. move you back. Let you shoot into these guys. So those are rear attacks, so it did 99. I'm curious to see for a true rear attack. That did pretty similar. Let you shoot into here. If I do that, I'm not sure you're actually going to be able to get the kill. Do it. Well, I guess we're gonna double tame him. Okay. My Your guardians await. You require my counsel. Wherever I go. Right, I'm a little worried that I'm going to get these guys caught into some bad spots here. Let's bring you down there. Still got a bunch of guys back here. Immortals awaiting command. Out of range. Well, so if I'm going to do the Guardian Protocol, we just do this. It'll boost up their health, and then he should be safe. We'll let. Oh, God damn it! I meant to charge, not to go there. Bummer. Now uh, you'll get the kill. Your guardians await. 
heavy fire support. Oh, if I do this, I think I'm going to nuke everybody. Because I want him to get the experience or the momentum to these guys down here. I got you to 62. Got you to 36. So we're almost getting ready. Wasting all these times, but I'm trying to get up to the empower ability here. Alright, so you're up to 82, so this should get you to where you need to be. Alright, perfect. So then, if we were going to empower things, it would just boost, it would be a free action, a cooldown of 1, and it gives them plus 25% bonus AP, or HP, I mean. So that's pretty good, actually. So if we were to do that, yeah, tw yeah. now they all have 100% health. That's pretty powerful. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's insane how good the Living Lightning is against these low tier Tyranid, tyranid units. But yeah, definitely using those guys to be able to protect uh, your HQ units from getting sniped is very beneficial. Now, you want to use it if there's going to be real dangerous uh, range units, obviously. So a good example of that would be, let's say, a Hellblaster with the heavy plasma incinerator. Um, the other option is if you know you can't move them into combat with somebody, or you're worried about them getting taken out, you could just use it for the H bonus HP and that will make them a little more tanky too and then if they're trying to break contact with you it'll allow you to still maintain a zone of control and be more harassing as well so using it as a way not only to allow them to change positions but to give you some bonuses that way and they literally just swap positions so I was kinda of hoping they were gonna attack my hero but they never really did with the range um, but it really, they literally just warp and swap positions um, so that's how that ability would work so thanks for watching I hope you're enjoying these videos if you are please give my channel a like and subscribe to post more content for you have a great day